This is said then, walk in the spirit. Okay, walk in the spirit, you will not fulfill the works of the flesh. Is that correct? The works of the flesh. Okay, walk in the spirit. Somebody say, walk. Now, to walk in the spirit means to be active spiritually. It, so when you walk in, you're active. When you're standing, you are passive. So when the Bible says walk in the spirit, it simply means learn to uh, actively involve the word of God in your life daily. Um, the word of God is the same as the spirit. Jesus said, the words I speak unto you, they are spirit. So when you hear the word, you hear in the spirit. When you act on the word against the desires of your flesh, you are actively living by the spirit. When you listen to the, to the voice of your spirit, when you listen to the pricking of your spirit, you are walking in the spirit. When you rather overcome evil with good, you have walked in the spirit. When you get angry and do not let the anger get into the next day, you have walked in the spirit. When you forgive your offenders, you have walked in the spirit. When you abstain, from sexual immorality from any fornicator or any man you have walked in the spirit the bible says walk in the spirit and you will not fulfill the works of the flesh but sometimes the problem we have today is that we want to fight the flesh and that's the problem the bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and power. So the warfare is not against the flesh. Because if you focus on the flesh, flesh will overcome you. But if you walk in the spirit, you will overcome the flesh. So it's not about the flesh. It's, it's because some of you are full of flesh. I just messed up. I just fell again. I will not fall again. You start walking in the flesh, trying to overcome flesh with flesh. And that's the problem. We become too conscious of flesh. Now listen, I'm not going to talk more about Satan here tonight. I'm going to talk more about how to be victorious, how to um, fight effectively in the spirit and overcome in our, uh, the flesh. There's only one aspect of us that has the capacity to overcome flesh, and that's the spirit. If we tune into the spirit, we will overcome flesh.